Hi again, it's me, Joel Barton. We're going to look at the uh, photoelectric effect with this FET simulation. I like this one. I've got it set up so that we have a zinc plate on the left, and we've got a lamp set up up here, and this lamp can shine any kind of light that we want it to. And we're going to start with infrared light. We're going to start with an infrared lamp, kind of like you might have as part of a night vision goggle set, and we're going to raise its intensity. It's an infrared light at the zinc. And well, wouldn't you know it, nothing's happening. And the simulator is hinting to us why nothing's happening is because each infrared photon is its own quantum, its own packet of energy, and no single photon has enough energy to kick electrons out of the sink. However, if we try dialing up the photon's energies into red light, hmm, the shining red light on the zinc cause electrons to come off of it, no, again, because each individual photon of red light is still not enough. And I can take it all the way up to violet light here. I hope that you can uh, tell in the in-between times here that, okay, as we're sliding it this way, the wavelength is lowering. That means the frequency is being raised, which means the energy of each photon should be higher than before. Hmm, shine violet light, shine purple light on a plate of zinc here, still nothing happening. Okay, let's go for some invisible stuff. Past the visible, we're going into ultraviolet, past the violet. Let's see if we can get anything. No. Let's take it to 300 nanometers. Oops, I took it to 250. I might as well keep it there. Yeah, things are picking up. Oh, I see something. You see it too? These photons that are at wavelength around 257 and shorter wavelengths, which means higher and higher frequencies, they are enough so that one single packet, one single photon, one single quantum of light is enough to kick an electron off the zinc plate. And you'll notice that over time it is losing electrons. And since it's set up in a circuit here, it's actually causing there to be a current within this circuit. Uh, so this is how the photoelectric effect works. If we had chosen a different material, then the threshold frequency uh, that we had to hit, which is the same as saying the inverse of a threshold wavelength, uh, would have to be different. Like it might take an even more extreme form of electromagnetic uh, radiation uh, to pop an electron out of a different element let's say, uh, or it might take less, it might take even less to kick an electron out of some other samples. Uh, but there you have it. That's how the photoelectric effect uh, is a sign that light needs to be treated as these quanta, as these little particular packets of energy. All right. Thanks. Bye.